All right, so you're going to need to be able to locate information in a text for very lo lots of things that you need to do. So I'm going to show you how to locate information in a text, particularly information for, for history. So if we've got an example of an inquiry question over here, why was a new penal settlement established at Moreton Bay and what effects did this have on the lives of convicts? There are two questions in there. The first one, why was a new penal settlement established at Moreton Bay? And the second question, what effects did this have on the lives of convicts? So to be able to answer these questions, we need to find the evidence in, in our text. So let's first of all, break that question down into other smaller questions to be able to answer it. So the first one, why was a new settlement needed? I am going to color that in yellow and I'm going to find that in my text and also highlight them in yellow. So why was a new settlement needed? So it was saying that people, convicts, obviously need more severe system of discipline and the hardships that they would encounter in these new settlements will make them change their habits. So they were hoping for a new settlement so they could be have harsher punishment. So that was one of our um, reason. Source two was saying that the worst convicts needed um, to be there. See that in here we've got our um, why the new settlements so obviously need the, the, the convicts needed a more severe system of discipline and the hardships they will encounter in these new settlements will make them change their habits and also they wanted to somewhere to send maybe to send the worst convicts I will just highlight send the worst convicts all right so second question over here what sites were considered all right so reading that let's change the color Let's do a green. What sites were considered? So if we go back up to source one, then we can see here that this report from Thomas, John Thomas Big, showed that Port Bowen, Morton Bay and Port Curtis should be considered as places to send the convicts. So that those sites were considered. Um, source two we we knew that they wanted a site far from sydney okay so that doesn't really tell us much about where the site was but they know that they needed it far from sydney so we wanted to morton bay so we had that's another one another one here for morton bay etc all right so we're going to see to the third question over here who investigated the sites? All right, so let's change our color so we know we to do the blue. So who investigated the sites? So we will go back over here. It says a report from John Thomas Big. So he was saying as places report. So John Thomas um, Big is reporting that these should be considered as places to send the convicts who committed major um, crimes. So John Thomas Big is one person who investigated the site. Um, and we can tell that it's um, by him because we can see that this was written, the report of the commissioner. So he wrote this report in the source. So we look at that there. All right, um, source three. So Governor Thomas Brisbane sent John Oxley and an exploration party. So these people investigated the sites and it says right here to investigate the three sites suggested by Thomas Big. So Thomas Big suggested them, but John Oxley and his party investigating the three sites. All right, so because we're talking about John Oxley, this next source here is an extract from a survey report on Morton Bay by John Oxley. And it says, 
Should a settlement be formed in Moreton Bay, the country in the vicinity of Redcliffe Point offers the best site for an establishment. It has an easy communication with the sea. There is not that difficulty experienced in effecting a landing, which other situations in the bay present. So that um, him further investigating. All right, so all right. So let's look at the next question, which site was chosen? So let's make it purple. Which site was chosen? We can see, I know that we know that Redcliffe Point was um, chosen, but we need to show from the evidence where that is. So if we have here, so the site was chosen, so should it one be, no, not this one, so source four. So extract, so should a settlement be formed in Moreton Bay, the country in the vicinity of Redcliffe. So Redcliffe Point offers the best site for an establishment. So if we look also in source five, it's talking about it. The site at Redcliffe Point was found to be unhealthy. So they did do that and they removed the settlement to some desirable spots on Brisbane River. Okay, so we know that they were abandoned in Redcliffe Point. Okay, so we can see that Redcliffe Point was abandoned and Brisbane River was chosen. All right, and we've got our final question. Oops, change color. Do it red. Why was the site chosen? Red. All right, so why was the site chosen? So we've got, no, not these ones. All right, um, so Redcliffe was chosen initially because it's an easy communication with the sea, which just means that it's easily able to um, get on the land from the sea. There's not difficulty experiencing affecting a landing, which other situations in the bay present. So that was the bay there. And so we know that that was abandoned. So why was Brisbane River chosen? It said here that the land was being lightly timbered, so that means not many trees, and the soil adapted to the purposes of cultivation. So remembering cultivation meaning far like time like farming, growing crops. Okay, so we knew that Brisbane River was chosen because there weren't many trees around and the soil adapted to the purpose of cultivation. So we have now located those in the text. And so we, we found that and we have located them in there. So we can then move on with writing notes.